All right, ranges, dryers, ra frames of ranges, ovens, and clothes dryers, 250.140. Okay, here we go. The circuit supplying ranges, ovens, and cooktops in clothes dryers must include an equipment grounding conductor, and that is connected to the frame of the appliance. Let's think this out. Wasn't it 25086? that said raceways and enclosures had to have an equipment grounding conductor, had to be connected to an equipment grounding conductor, mm -hmm. right? So now this is ranges, dryers, and ovens. This is, says it has to be, the frame has to be connected to an equipment grounding conductor. Okay, we got that. We have that. And so here is the equipment grounding conductor connected to the frame. Now, I can only speak for Kenmore and Sears. When they bring you a dryer out to your house, that equipment grounding conductor is under the neutral terminal. Absolutely. Automatically. Yeah. Which means that brand new dryer today, it is under the neutral terminal, violating this rule because this rule says it shall be connected to the frame, not to the dryer. Right. Now, the 2023 code is going to be re require, right, dryers and ranges to be connected to GFCI. GFCI, yeah. yep. That was totally as soon as they get this new range coming in and they plug it in there, GFCI, it's going to trip. Yep. And hopefully the electrician is qualified to understand, oh, you know what? Now, I've had guys come out with the cord. I, I buy the dryer, have the sears, get the cord, make the connection. As soon as he gets there, I say, look, do me a favor. Just take that cord, ground terminal, connect it to the case, and remove that jumper from the neutral to the case. No, 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 no. So just please, just please just do that. If they don't want to do it, then I just do it myself. You know what I mean? Either way. I sent a complaint to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, CPSC or something like that, uh, about this problem that Sears is supplying these this way and never heard a response. All right, here we go. So we know what it's supposed to be. This is how it came. Mm -hmm. Okay, neutral bonded to the frame. Right. And that's, of course, a violation. Now, the code does say this, B, if an equipment grounding conductor is not present in an outlet box, this is the old houses, they didn't have an equipment grounding conductor. Well, if there is no equipment grounding conductor, then the frame of the range dryer, the ranges, ovens, cooktops, and closed dryers must be connected to the neutral conductor, three-wire cord, right? So this is going to be a four-wire cord, right? Separate equipment grounding conductor, separate neutral phase conductors. Well, there's no, new, there's no equipment grounding connector. Okay, well, then a three-wire cord, and we tie the grounds and neutrals together at that frame. Now, I don't know if you know the history of why ranges and dryers and ovens, as well as outlet boxes, were permitted to be used, connected to the grounded conductor or the neutral conductor, and you did not need an equipment grounding conductor. Research, do you know what the story was? Anybody know it, Brian? They ran it all in SEU? No, no. It was the war, World War II. They didn't have the, the copper. So they allowed the grounds and neutrals to be connected together. And it was a wartime provision to temporarily allow this. And it was in, in the 90s, we'll say the 1990s. And I think Ryan Jackson was a little bit involved in this or somebody was involved, maybe Fred Hartwell. <laughs> Probably was Fred Hartwell. <laughs> and he submitted a public input and he said, the war is over. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you get know Fred Harper, does that sound like yeah, about yeah. what Fred right. would do? He goes, yeah. guys, this is in panel five. He goes, and he says, listen, in case you didn't know, something that affect the war, World War II is over. Because he knew the history of why they allowed the neutrals and grounds and connections for ranges and rises, why they allowed the, un, the uh, unbraided, and it was unbraided SC cable run to ranges, drives, and oven. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was an uninsulated cable that ran to ranges, drives, and ovens. But also, Brian, this is when the utilities were trying to promote the use of electric appliances trying to promote getting it away from gas, right? They're trying to get the gas market, cutting the cost of the, the cost of ranges and drives and ovens. And then of course the copper shortage that was, because you're getting bullets. Bullets require copper to make brass, okay? So copper went up and so all this stuff went together and that's where it all came from. So you will have some houses with three wire cords. It's existing, that's what 250.140B is about, where 
250-140A is a brand new installation, four wire cord, equipment grounding conductor, separated from the neutral conductor, three wire cord, there's no equipment grounding conductor, they'd be tied together. Thank you.